Welcome to the another video from Simple Networking. In this video, we are going to see what is and what are the routing protocols and the uh, categories. So routing protocol is a, a set of defined of rule how the traffic is forwards to the destination with the efficiency. OK, so the routing protocol categories, we have three. One is like static, another one is default, dynamic route. So static is the one which manually we need to configure as a network administrator. I need to add the uh, network information of my own router information as well as the my neighbor router information. So let's say I will give this one example uh, in, in the auditorium. OK, I need to tell my name. Even I want to know others names, right? So that I can interact with the others. Uh, so static route is like I need to tell my name even I want to ask my friend's name so that I will know my name as well my friend's name as well this is like a static route by dynamic route in this uh, it's a like a, a magical things like if you uh, introduce my my name is enough okay uh, like I'm just telling my name in the mic so others audience will listen from the speakers right so they will obviously know my name so same way they will tell their name then obviously i will know my name my names right so this is the way so dynamic protocol having some intelligent if you advertise our own network information is enough the neighbors information will be exchanged by, by each other in the bi-direction communication but static we need to do manual configuration so static route and default route we will see difference so static route we need to configure manually of the all the neighbors ip and the own ip let's assume like see yeah, it's just the, the, the configuration we need to uh, do it like ip route then the ip address subnet mask and the gateway so this is uh, my router information okay so even i need to advertise my neighbor's router information so like that we need to do it manually by the all the routes which to exchange the information each other coming to the default route this is like a same but whatever the routes we are advertising here only that routes that networks uh, will pass to this gateway okay so other network will not pass it will be discard but default route is kind of a thing we are giving the 0, .0, .0, 0 .0. so 0 in, in the sense like null right so what are the routes is coming it's respective of any ip address or any subject uh, or sorry any uh, subnet or any range okay so the i that the routes uh, the information will just pass to this next hub or we can say this next uh, gateway so this is the default routes so under uh, uh, coming to the dynamic one dynamic is the intelligent protocol the reason is like we need to advertise we need we need to advertise only our router information like our connected router information is enough okay using this mechanism other router information will be exchanged each other by direction communication the router neighbors will become the all the router will become the neighbor let's assume so i will give one more example best example i said my name you saying your name then obviously i know your name you know my name we can talk each other right so this is the one for dynamic protocol we need to advertise only that connected network information to the router from this uh, routing in, um, uh, mechanism okay the neighborship the neighbor information will be exchanged from router a to router b router b to router a then communication will be established and it will be formed so under uh, dynamic we have two categories one is like igp and egp interior gateway protocol and exterior gateway protocol so what is interior gateway protocol and exterior gateway protocol before knowing that we want to know something about as number because the as number if you know only uh, what i'm going to explain next is, is easily understanding okay so as number also we have some range like public as number private as number so i will mm, I, I can i can say in this simple way how do we have like a public ip address private ip address uh, concepts right so private ip address can be used within the organization public ip address generally will use for the van connectivity in the sense like internet connection something right so same thing for public as we need to use for the 
internet connectivity is something private is within the uh, organization or interconnected within the one we can use for the uh, this one okay so coming to the uh, igp okay uh, igp will uh, communicate with uh, only uh, within the uh, this one uh, autonomous system so what is uh, within the autonomous system is just assume we have three router okay so this three routers uh, as number is 1 1 1 okay and this three router will connect each other right so then this is like igp topology okay uh, if you imagine uh, we have another three setup like this okay and this three setup is uh, having uh, as number is 2 okay so uh, in this uh, two network we wants to connect right so using this two network we need to connect means uh, we need to use uh, e, um, ebgp because within the igp will work but to connect this two network we need ebgp okay so to sim to summarize very easy same autonomous system or same group igp will work okay two different autonomous system okay ebgp will work okay so coming to this one under uh, igp we have three category one is like distance vector link state and hybrid uh, in distance vector we have one is like rip uh, igrp in link state we have ospf isis hybrid is like ehrp i will give the abbreviation for the uh, all the ones rip is uh, abbreviation is router routing information protocol IGP is like interior gateway routing protocol. OSPF stands for open shortest path first. EHRP stands for enhanced interior gateway routing protocol. ISIS is intermediate system to intermediate system. BGP is like broader gateway protocol. This is the abbreviation for the all the routes. Coming to the distance vector protocol, RIP have two version. One is like version one and version two. Okay, so RIP metric is uh half count so what is half count is in the sense like we have two router okay so to to connect two router we have some intermediate router okay just assume okay this routes are uh, connecting each other uh using uh, kind of a disconnectivity okay so just assume okay so this is r1 this is r2 okay so to reach R1 to R2, how many hop is there? What two hop is there from uh, here? Here one hop is there. Okay. So what is the matrix for RIP is hop count. So based on the less hop count, it will be choose as the best rule. So in this situation to reach uh, R1 to R2, this is two, this is one, this is less, right? So what happened? Uh, EHRP will, uh, sorry, uh, RIP will choose this is as the best rule okay coming to the ospf ospf is like a uh, cost okay so same situation so same setup rip is using this as the uh, best path right but ospf will choose not depends upon the uh, half count that is depends upon the bandwidth so let's say let's assume this is uh, this bandwidth is like 10 mbps this bandwidth is 10 mbps this side the bandwidth is 30 mbps 30 mbps okay so 30 mbps okay just assume okay so what happened so um ospf will choose which is the reliable which is the lowest cost lowest cost means like which is the having good bandwidth okay so that will choose as the best path so in this situation uh if you see here which one is the best route is miss? this one this uh purple one the reason is this bandwidth is to reaching this network the the cast is 10 I mean in the sense like the the speed is 10 mbps right but to reach uh from this end the bandwidth is 30 mbps so that's why uh the ospf will choose this one okay so uh simple so rip half count uh HOP half count, uh, uh, BG OSPF uh, half count is uh, bandwidth. But coming to the EHRP, okay, it is like combine of two, okay. So what, how the EHRP is design is happen is like, what are the advantages there in the distance vector? They have took this advantage. What are the advantages there in the link state? That also they have took. So they have combined with this two protocol 
they become as a hybrid okay and the finally they have find found this protocol as um, ehrp protocol so ehrp protocol hop count is not uh, like a, a, a rip like hop count osp uh, bandwidth right so ehrp hop count like we have some k values uh, like uh, met uh, bandwidth load delay reliability mtu something we have five um, k values depends upon that that will be choose as the best path so i'm just going to tell you the same setup okay so if we have two router that this is uh, r1 this is r2 okay and to connect this router we have this uh, this connectivity okay same diagram i'm just going to write okay but if you choose uh, but uh, if a rip this is the best path ospfi this is the best path as the previous diagram right but what it will be do ehrp it will be choose a uh, same um, me mechanism but it will uh, consider as two path one is like successor another one is like feasible successor so what is successor and feasible successor is like we can say successor is the best path okay feasible successor is the backup best path okay so like this it will be choose so what happen if in case any connectivity goes down in this th this is as the successor just assume in case this connectivity goes lock uh, goes down then uh, uh, then the fraction of second the, the second backup the feasible successor the connectivity established and the traffic will be forward to this to the uh, neighbor so this is the <coughs> advantage for the ehrp coming to the egp protocol egp is the enhanced intermediate gateway protocol right under egp is a path vector protocol and bgp will be here under bgp also we have like uh, ibgp ebgp concept okay that is like uh, internal bgp and external bgp okay so this ad value is like a uh, 20 for uh, external bgp internal ad value is like 200 okay so um, internal bgp external bgp kind of a same thing like ibgp ebgp within autonomous system IG, IEBGP will work for to different autonomous system EBGP will work um, so I can easily say like if you want to connect internet connectivity then EBGP like, like, like imagine this is like uh, Airtel okay this is like uh, uh, we can say Geo okay so they are running some AS number is like uh, uh, 6500 something just uh, assume this is like 6580 something okay so two different autonomous system they wants to connect here we need uh, ebgp concept okay so within airtel the as number will be same right 6500 is the as number within the airtel we have like a 10 router just assume okay so all 10 routers are connected to each other so this one uh, 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 ibgp will work so so far we have covered the uh, what is static route default and dynamic under dynamic what is the subcategory of IGP EGP in that what is in the IGP category like distance vector link state hybrid right so we have discussed all the things if you have any doubt related to this topic please feel free to write it into this comment please like the video and stay tuned thank you.